Hi everyone, welcome back to IELTS.NishaGarg. Today I'm here with another important video. The video is about IELTS Writing Task 2. Yes, today I'm going to discuss 19th December Writing Task 2 Academic Exam. Indian exam. Uh, today is 20th December. Yesterday only students got question. In the evening slot, they got the question as transport and accommodation problems are increasing in many cities. Some governments are encouraging businesses to move to rural areas. Do you think the advantages outweigh its disadvantages? I am fortunate enough to say that again the question is from my book. It is 99th question of my book. 99th question of my book and you can see the question as accommodation and transportation problem are increasing in cities. Government is promoting businesses to rural areas. Do the advantages outweigh its disadvantages? You can see the question. It's my book, IELTS dot Nisha Writing Task 2, which I have lost previously. It is 99th question of my book, and you can see the sample answer as well. So, today I'm going to discuss whenever you see the question, the foremost task is to identify what type it is as there are total 11 types again it is mentioned in my book there are total 11 types of writing tasks too and i have even mentioned the format for every type as well if you will see here is the format for do the advantages outweigh its disadvantages? What is the difference between advantages and disadvantages? And do the advantages outweigh its disadvantages? What is the basic difference? The difference is in the structure. In advantage disadvantage, you have to mention advantages and disadvantages equally. Equal. The body, the length of the body paragraph should be equal. But in case of do the advantages outweigh its disadvantages, you have to tell what thing outweighs, what is, what supersede, what massively tied over the other thing. You have to state your opinion in the first paragraph whether the advantages are more or disadvantages are more. So how you will write it? I have given my format here. With every type in my book, you will find the format so that student can prepare from this book and can fetch their desired bands. You will start with the keyword. There is always a keyword. If you don't get the keyword, but do not waste your time in identifying the keyword and thinking about the key line. Do not spend more than one minute or two minutes in writing the key line. Please switch forward towards your paraphrasing if you do not find keyword. Do not waste your precious time there, please. But if you find the keyword, must give the key lines. Mention one or two lines for the key line. After that, paraphrase it. Paraphrase, how to paraphrase it? Convert the question, translate the question in your native language and then rephrase it afterwards. Rephrase it in your own words. The meaning should be same, but words should be yours. Please do not copy paste the question in paraphrasing. You will not get the bands. Rephrase it. Rephrase it means if it is written some people think you should write a section of society. If it is written government you should write authorities, higher authorities, supreme bodies, executives. There are many synonyms but do not like while practicing do not google every word to find out the synonym. No. Don't do that. Just try to memorize 3-4 words, the common words that you can get in your exam and you can have a handout for the synonyms. 
and manage your time once you start practicing at home writing your writing or your practicing practicing any other module like reading writing please manage your time time management is the utmost key for this ielts exam so now i'm going to discuss how you will attempt this kind of essay and what points you should have given in your essay or in case because these questions repeatedly repeat not in india it will repeat in new zealand australia canada anywhere so it can repeat they can repeat the question so you can uh, now judge how you can write your essay the key line afterwards paraphrasing afterwards you need to give your thesis statement thesis statement means you will give your opinion here in the first paragraph what you will write in the upcoming paragraphs must mention your thesis statement in your first paragraph except your discuss both views and give your opinion you will mention thesis statement in every kind of format there are total 11 formats discuss both views and give your opinion agree disagree do the advantages outweighs disadvantages is it positive or negative development give your opinion cause solution cause effect cause opinion effect solution random two part question there are total 11 types so it is my humble request that uh, once you read the question first identify what the question is asking from you what is the demand of the question so that you can get good bands for your task achievement your essay is marked on a number of things task achievement coherence and cohesion spelling and grammar there are many things word limit which you needs to be keep in mind to fetch your desired bands right so task achievement is your first thing whenever you see the question identify the type which type it is so that you can get good bands and task achievement and afterwards what the question is demanding for that you need to do the paraphrasing i have written the thesis here even though this practice brings about a mixed bag of boon and bane comma dash outshine dash in dash you will write what outshine the other if you are favoring merits you will write merits outshine demerits if you are favoring demerits you will write demerits outshine merits but must give your opinion must state which side you are favoring clear here so that examiner should know now outweigh means the one side is heavy than the other right so you need to give more points for the side which you are favoring if you are favoring advantages you need to give 3 points in the favor of advantages and one or two point for disadvantages it depends how much uh, lengthier the points you are writing if your word limit is up to till 290 words for 2 ratio 1 give 2 ratio 1 if it is 3 ratio 2 give 3 ratio 2 but please show the difference in both the body paragraphs in case of this type of essay do the advantages outweighs disadvantages if you are favoring advantages give 3 points if you are favoring disadvantages first give disadvantages mention 3 points and give 2 points for your advantages this is how you write this type of essay i am reading the question again as transport and accommodation problems are increasing in cities so government is preferring businesses to move to rural areas discuss the advantages outweigh its disadvantages so this is the type and this is my format it's in my book buy my book you can buy from me you can call me 7087403550 buy the book i will courier you the book and you can get your desired bands here is the first paragraph afterwards the body paragraphs there is always a two body paragraph do not exaggerate it to three because it will exceed the word limit and you will find it cumbersome to manage the time as well so it is advisable that you should write two body paragraphs only if you are favoring the 
positive side you should write on the brighter side if you are favoring the disadvantages first you can say on the darker side there are many connectors that you can use for it like you can say apparently nevertheless in the third paragraph you can say on the one hand on the other hand for the third uh, paragraph you can say on the constructive part on the destructive part you can say on the brighter side on the darker side these are the things that you have to use for your beginning the uh, paragraph do not directly start with to embark upon first and foremost never give your points like this always mention a connector if you want to jot it down i can write it for you i can write these connectors for you so that it will be easy for you people I hope that it's visible. Yes. For advantages, you can use words like and for disadvantages, you can use words like. Here you can write on the one hand, you can make notes on the one hand. For disadvantages, you will write on the other hand right for second another you can use is apparently here for disadvantages you can use nevertheless here you can use on the brighter side For disadvantages, you can use on the darker side. Next, you can use is on the constructive part. For disadvantages, you can use on the destructive part. This is how you can write on the one hand, on the other hand, apparently, nevertheless, on the brighter side, on the darker side, on the constructive part, on the destructive part. Please use like this combination only. Do not break this. I hope you have jotted down. I am giving you 30 seconds to jot it down. I hope it's done. Yes. Now, the moment you see the question, the moment you see the question, question is, as transport and accommodation problems are increasing in cities, so government is preferring to move the businesses to rural areas do the advantages outweigh its disadvantages this is a particular type of outweigh question whenever you see the question try to identify the keyword you can say there is disparity between urban areas and rural areas you can give a basic background uh, by giving the definition of developed areas or the underdeveloped areas like what is the difference between developed and underdeveloped developing is the one which has all the facilities like healthcare uh, uh, hospitals institutions and where there are employment opportunities whereas the rural areas those are underdeveloped these are unindustrialized these are weaker in terms of healthcare, employment opportunities, and yes, of course, standard of living. So this, the one thing that should click you 
आफ्टर रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन द अर्बन एंड द रूरल वॉट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस एंड वाई वाई द गवर्नमेंट इज सजेस्टिंग दिस टू ट्रांसफर टू मूव टू शिफ्ट ऑल द बिजनेस टू रूरल एरियाज वाई वॉट आर द रीजन वाई बिकॉज इन द सिटीज देयर इज लॉट ऑफ कंजेशन ट्रैफिक कंजेशन देयर इज लॉट ऑफ पॉल्यूशन दिस इज अ चेन रिएक्शन इफ देयर इज अ ट्रैफिक कंजेशन देयर विल If there is a over population, there is a traffic congestion. There is air pollution. These all are interlinked. One after the other, you will see the consequences. So, oh, the foremost reason why government is doing this traffic con uh, traffic congestion, over population, and air pollution. So these are the things that makes the life of city people really pathetic, and it's a burning issue in cities like Chandigarh, Mumbai, Delhi specifically, Bangalore, where people are well. There is lot of population. People are migrating for the better facilities and employment opportunities, but there is scarcity of water, air, and other natural resources. So that's why government is suggesting to move uh, the businesses to rural areas. so if i say that i have more point for the advantages i would say the merits outshine the merits if you remember i have shared my format with you in the beginning in which i have stated that you will give the thesis statement like even though this practice brings about a mixed bag of both boon and bane that it has both boon and bane comma even though is always followed by a comma comma dash outshine dash if you are favoring merits you should say merits outshine demerits if you are favoring demerits then you should say demerits outshine merits i hope it's clear to you people right so once you see the question you can make your map you can make a uh, within one or two minutes just make this kind of map that in the pros you will mention this and for the cons you will mention this a basic outline now some students they find it difficult to organize the ideas how to organize ideas whenever you see a question that question should have its roots in most of the things like you can make a map here you can make one personal point one professional point then you can make academic point you can make economic point health there are many points that you can make you can make this kind of map whenever you see the question it will help you not to repeat your ideas and it will help you to give more organized essay your first point the first body paragraph and the first point should be really 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 important because it forms a base of your whole essay so the first point should be very important and it should be very clear in words elaborated as much as you can general students they can use collocations collocations which is mentioned in the beginning initial pages of my book but academic students please write plain as much plain as you can the more plain you will write the more good bands you will get but general students kindly please please learn my collocations these are my collocations the positive and the negative collocations what does collocation means it adds coherence and cohesion to your writing which will help you to fetch 7 or 7.5 bands in writing these are the negative and the positive collocations and i have even shared examples in my book and this is your question so i am favoring the positive side that yes government should uh uh move businesses to rural area so what will be the benefit i have already discussed with you the benefit will be in terms of there will be balance in both type of cities in the rural as well as the 
urban the countryside and the cities countryside is your outskirts area your rural areas so there will be balance balance in the workforce between cities and countryside if you will see uh, the many small towns uh, the people from the small towns they they usually come to cities to settle to have a better standard of living and to have a better lifestyle so if government will promote businesses to rural areas those people will stay with their family and they can have uh, good salaries there only so they won't migrate to cities so that's the one thing and there will be balance balance in the workforce in the cities there is lack of employment opportunities because many people from all around the globe they visit such one place for the interview thing and they get the jobs and the other person do not get it so that's why there are lack of employment opportunities in cities because there is over population so if government can do this step uh, it can help people to not to be employed and to be with their families and it will help to maintain a balance between both cities and the countryside so this is the major the prime reason the prime supportive factor that government should do this now the second is traffic congestion if government will promote businesses to rural areas there will be less traffic congestion why because more people they will be there and again there will be balance in the population of both the area cities and countryside hence it will reduce traffic congestion because there will be less cars on the roads and there will be less air pollution again it's a chain reaction everything is linked with one another these are the two points which i have made workforce the balance between the workforce in the cities and the countryside and the second is traffic congestion there won't be much traffic congestion i can even read my sample answer from the book on the constructive part society is blessed with the presence of relocation businesses in rural areas which are worth mentioning this is my line that you can learn it from here from the book and you can use it in your essay the first beginning line that you can use afterwards you can give your points to begin with it is a inevitable contributing factor it's a collocation general students can use it but academic students please write plain as much as you can do not write heavy words please do not write heavy words write plain give your point and explain your point the more explanation will be there the more good bands you will get this is for both academic as well as general and after that you have to give example you can quote if if you are unable to give any practical example please do not share your personal examples do not use i word i in my family in my relatives no 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 never give such kind of examples in your ielts exam you can quote examples of like uh, let me tell you you can give examples of bbc survey research do not use a word survey bbc research you can use forbes magazine you can use chronicle of higher education any english name you can use you can even mention hindustan times the tribune any chronicle of higher education you can use wall street journal these are the research work that you can quote bbc survey bbc research sorry forbes magazine chronicle of higher education wall street journal please jot it down i hope these are clear to you and afterwards now switching to cons of it the negative side what will be the negative side if businesses will be in the rural areas 
will they get all the uh, hefty amounts the productivity no they won't get because in rural areas people spend less how they will get all the productivity and output of their investment they won't so the business can turn in loss if it would be like so the businesses will be in loss the next point is major change in the standard of living in rural areas as there are less facilities the people won't have such uh, standard of living in comparison to cities so these are the major points that you can write in your disadvantages in the conclusion please do not forget to mention to restate your opinion that merits outshine demerits you can even use the words tied over massively tied tied over outshine there are many words that you can use for outweigh but use them so i hope that uh, the format outweigh format and the simple answer is clear to you please buy my book as questions are also coming from this book i e l t s dot writing task 2 the e link is also available will share in the description of this video and my number is 7087403550 you can call me and i can courier you the book thank you for watching the full video please share among your friends and relatives kindly like share comment thank you so much and all the best for your exams i wish you all magical score be confident and keep learning my and keep learning and watching my videos bye bye have a good day